Okay, guess we're doing just fine. Said I'm not yours, so I see. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Malsh's video. So in today's video, this is going to be an exclusive look on Hardy level 150. I'm going to showcase rank zero, rank one, rank three, and rank five. So. If you guys are interested in watching Hardy, the Antsuation Attacker, then make sure to watch this video. And uh, yeah, so 9,000 cells, this was provided by Social Point. Thanks to them, special thanks to them. Uh, they provided me enough food and cells for this monster so I can review it for a video. And I cannot win PvP battles for those of you that are new to my channel. I cannot win PvP battles. Um, I could test it out against friendly battles and stuff, that's cool. But I can't win PvP battles and also later on I'm gonna have to sell it. The reason I have to sell it is because it won't be fair to keep it, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and craft Hardy. So let's go ahead and take 50 gems, here we go, and hatch it. Alright, so Hardy is here, alright? And I am going to go ahead and finish this off. This is what the egg looks like and this is what the baby monster looks like. And cool, I have two room slots open just like the previous... Um, Monster, uh, what's it called? Monster view that I did. What was it? Slugazoid, right? I got two rune slots. Cool. Okay, so this is awesome. Let's go ahead and place it right there, that mythic habitat. And this is Hardy. This is what he looks like. Is he dark? Or, wait, I mean, no, no, not dark. Is he magic? Is he like a magic? Yeah, I mean, just because of the way he looks, I knew he was um, magic. So we have Ant Spatian at rank zero as a trait. Not as a status cast or anything, as a trait, which is really, really um, scary for other mythic monsters, especially like Noor and other like Rara Avis and stuff. Uh, we have water protection. Monster takes half damage from water attacks at rank 1. Rank 3 is when you get stamina regen. So, in the beginning of the battle, you'll have stamina regen right away. So, uh, with that being said, I am gonna go ahead and start feeding up this monster. Here we go. Alright, so we unlocked Moisture Drinker. Punch of the Shark King. Alright, we're gonna take a look take a look at the effects and also what the skills are in general after we get this monster to level 100. So level 100. Here we go. 8, 9, and 10. Okay, cool. So here are the stats for those of you wondering. This is the stats for level 100, Hardy. And... That's what he does for an the animation, in case you were wondering. 25 gems, sure, let's do it. And uh, before I actually ruin this monster, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the skills. So, moderate magic, magic damage to all enemies applies stamina regen to itself. I really like my AoE skills. I, I like putting them on the third slot every time. I don't know, it's just the way I do it. Orm's Blast deals very heavy magic damage to an enemy, applies curse to an enemy. So the curse is only one turn. That's interesting. The curse is only one turn. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, fast as a shark, moderate water damage to all enemies applies vulnerable. So vulnerable, in case you don't know what this does, I think what it does is it doubles the amount of damage, if I remember correctly. Yeah, increases income damage by 50%. That's what it does. Um, Punch of the Shark King deals heavy magic damage to an enemy, applies vulnerable and shock. Ooh. Let's see, applies double damage and space time to itself. Takes 56 stamina and 2 turn cooldown. Space time could come in handy unless you're going up against monsters with... Uh, what's it called, what's it called, what's it called? Um, Pierce. Like Vanos 2099, Vastus, those are the only two monsters for now. Moisture Drinker. Applies stamina leak to all enemies, gives 50% of stamina to itself. Now here's the thing, I wouldn't really recommend running the 50% stamina removal. Or 50% stamina uh, regen, you know, just getting it to yourself. If you have this monster at rank 3, because you know how you have the status caster, right? So you don't really need it. I, I get it, it's a one turn cooldown, but still, it's not a spamable skill or something. Deals heavy magic damage to one enemy, applies vulnerable and shock. Vulnerable and shock? Now, here's the thing. This is a very heavy magic damage. It does more damage than this one. But here's the thing. This costs less stamina. And also... This has a 2 turn cooldown instead of 1. And here's another thing. Curse is only for 1 turn. Uh, the Punch of the Shark thing. The status effects are Vulnerable plus Shark. Uh, shock, sorry. Not Shark. <laughs> so if you're a big fan of that, you can go ahead and uh, equip it as that. 
I think I'm gonna keep it this way. This is a spamble skill, and I really like spamble skills to be honest. So I might actually run this. Ah, uh, this is... I don't know. I really want to run this. Probably over fast as a shark, but I really like fast as a shark because of vulnerable to all enemies. Maybe I can swap this with this actually. What do you guys think? I you need the double damage and space time for sure, just in case of a risky thing, um, just to save yourself. The stamina regen to itself, uh, actually that's just to itself. It's not to all allies. I might actually swap this, and it takes 83 stamina. That is a ton of stamina. Holy cow! <laughs> Saucer takes so much stamina per skills. Oh god, yeah, it's high stamina cost for this monster. So I recommend running these skills. But if you want to run, let's say the stamina region over one of them, you can. Um, the curse, I don't know why you wouldn't run that, to be honest. You can though for the damage. And I guess if you're a fan of curse. Um, stamina, it gets stamina to itself. I'm not really a big fan of that. And this is a AoE low magic damage and I don't really like running this. I mean, I get it. Zero cooldown. But hey, you know what else has zero cooldown? This skill right here. And it only takes 22 stamina. So as long as you have the 22 stamina, you should be good. Um, but yeah, with that being said, here's how you ruin this monster. I recommend running this monster as one attack. Um, you could go with two strength runes and one speed or you can go with two speed and one strength. It's really up to you. I'm going to go with two strength and one speed. That's how I'm going to run it. Here we go. So these are the runes that I put in. I know it's not the best, but uh, this is all I have for now. So with that being said, before we rake it up, we're going to have to test this monster off. And we're going to do it in on Adventure Map. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. So, uh, we're gonna get rid of this monster, and okay, so to pair this monster up, who do you really want to pair this monster up with? That's a question. So you have the attacker, which is himself, right? Hardy. Now, you need a denier, a monster that could AoE cooldown them in the beginning, like for example, if you have Guy Daigo, you could go with this, you can go with um, Siamis if you have Siamis. You could go with Ondana. Well, not Ondana. I don't know. It's really up to you. Um, you could also go with some someone like Groot, right? Tremor. And um, last one, you'll need a Team Speed Holder. Honestly, what I'm going to run is going to be... Can you guys guess? Can you guys guess who it's going to be? Do, do, do. Not Mana Fusion, no. <laughs> I love Mana Fusion, but... In this case, this is the only Team Seed monster that I have. Oh, aside from my evasion monster, of course, Elvira. The one that applies evasion in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, this is what I have. This is what I'm going to run here. So AoE cooldown in the beginning. He's taking the next turn, of course, he, because he's a mythic. That's a War Master. Better stats. So he has about 22,458 strength slash power. Um, this is a spamble skill, so in case they stamina drain you or something, you can go ahead and use this or let's say sorry if they apply cooldowns right if they apply cooldowns this is a great skill to use just as a backup you always need it because many mythics like Gaijigo, Siamis and a few others could apply cooldowns and you gotta watch out from that now you can go ahead and apply double damage and space time to yourself just so next turn you can do more damage double the amount of damage that's really up to you but in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and OTK this monster so, bam, 42,000 applies vulnerable plus sh uh, shock. I keep. I always call it shock, I don't know why. Like, okay, the monster's about to die, that's not good. But he, the good thing is that Ragnarok is going right before him. So, what I can do is no more failure, you. And then that gives two extra turns, right? So, I can go and apply double damage with space time. So, when you have space time, in case you're not familiar with this thing, basically, this monster won't be taking any, any damage. Any damage. So if the enemy tries to attack for a million damage, it'll do zero damage. It's sort of like evasion, basically. I think that's what it is, basically. It's, it's very similar. Um, aside from that, this is a spamble skill and 40% power. Holy cow. Um, remember, this is Nemesis versus Mythic, okay? And when you're doing a Mythic versus Mythic, so let's say Hardy versus another Mythic, 
it would do probably less damage than what it usually does. I'm going to go and apply Vulnerable. It did 22,000 damage. So we'll take a look at that. He has no stamina. That's not good. If he runs out of stamina... Uh, honestly, hold on. I really forgot about the... I did not. This is my first time actually forgetting, forgetting about relics for a monster view. Wow. <laughs> so sorry. He can actually hold a... What's it called? Sword. And there are many swords that you can use. But my favorite one is always is Laser Beam Sword. Because, especially if it's an attacker, okay? And Hardy's an attacker, you guys know. Basically what it does is that it increases the wearer's power. So in this case, it would be 3,930 in the beginning of the battle. And it's a ton. You can also run Eeltron's Mask if you'd like to. So after being damaged by a skill, removes 200 points of stamina. And also, you can um, also, what's it called? Get 50% of armor, which is 42,220 or 90 in this case. So that's cool. All right, now we could get, go ahead and get back to adventure map and try this again. So basically, it just gives you more strength with the uh, laser beam sword that I have here. And if you have, if you don't have laser beam sword, it's okay. You just go ahead and run another, um, like a really good, what's it called, relic. And if you don't have relics, honestly. Just grind them. You can even put on bronze and stuff. You can still destroy with bronze. Sort of. It really depends on which, who you're going up against. See, instead of doing um, half of the damage like before, it actually does more damage now because of the 3,000 uh, 3, power. And that boots us up from 22,000, I believe it was, to 26,000 now. That's a ton. I can OTK. And it does some damage because of my laser beam sword. Alright, he does that. He takes the damage back because, uh, of course, the damage mirror from Ragnarok. Ignite. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it on 4x speed. We're going to go and charge up. No more failure on you. Alright, so he's back. Laser Beam Sword kicks in just for the last time. And we're going to go with the Vulnerable skill. So yeah, there goes that. The monster itself is really good. I wouldn't say it's an overpowered mythic, but it's good. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and rank it up. 25 gems. Let's go ahead and feed it. This is where you unlock water protection. So if you're going to go up against any water monsters, well, if they try to attack you with any water skills, like let's say you're going up against Ondana or something, right? And let's say Kalto or whatever. If they do water damage, it'll do 50% uh, less, basically. So that's pretty cool. So rank 1, we're going to test out a rank 1. We could do it on PvP, actually. It's whatever if I lose, you know? It won't be that bad. Let's go ahead and get rid of uh, Cat UFO. And let's go with my mythic monster Hardy. Here we go. Let's go and fight. Loading opponents. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, Tremor. Oh, he has a Hardy as well. Cool. Alright, so you get um you have your anticipation of course if you go up against any extra turners i really wish i did in this case so i could have show showcased the anticipation because the only way to remove it is to trade the sable in and not too many mythics could actually do that or i don't think any mythic can do it let me know in the comments down below if i'm wrong but i don't think any mythic monsters could actually trade the sable right um but if you're gonna run mana fusion or something and let's say your mana fusion is super fast you can go on and trade the sable this monster and don't worry about anything but let's say if you're gonna run um, a mana fusion and the enemy is running a mega taunt plus the animation, that's gonna be that's gonna take a while to trade the sable, and he's probably gonna OTK mana fusion in that case, unfortunately. All right, let's go ahead and do the damage protection. Cool. Okay, so let's see. Oh, we get the ultimate. Cool. So the ultimate, what it does is, um, it's a heavy magic damage tool that means applies shock and curse. We can actually get to see this in battle. Let's do it. Okay, that's what it does. Uh, that's what it looks like, actually. Cool. Alright. Yeah, it did a ton of damage. That was very powerful. And before I win this, I'm going to have to leave the battle. Because it won't be fair if I win it. It's just against the rules. I don't want to do that. Uh, but yeah, rank 1, hardy. It's kind of interesting, you know. Rank 3, uh, I mean, when you get the um, stamina regen, 
that's actually good. So as long as they don't remove your positives, right? Let's say if they hit you with a with a trap, right? Try to remove your stamina, and they do it. You have your stamina regen that could help you out. And if you're gonna run, what is it? Strike the sun. You should be good. That could back you up. All right. So rank two. Let's go ahead and get it to rank three, and then we're gonna test out the rank three. So breakout, breakout, rank up, twenty five gems. Go to feed. So that is when you unlock stamina regen, rank three. So it applies stamina regen to itself at the start of the battle. Alrighty, level 130, cool. So we got 130, hardy, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and test this monster against my teammates. It is a 130. So hardy, and we're also gonna run maybe a megaton monster. Sure, let's do a megaton, okay? Okay, he's using Tremor, he's using, what's his name, Brutalizer, and also the other, so it's a 130, 130, 130. Ancient Wood, that gives me, see, do you guys see that? And Spatient kicked in, cool. So, in this case, I could give myself double damage and space time, so for next turn, I could do double the amount of damage, I have 41,000 power. 41,000, that is pretty powerful, right? So, look. The next turn, I'm getting... It's Guy Diego, right? Guy Diego's taking the next turn, so I could apply AoE cooldown. And then Hardy, in the other hand, has 45,000 power, which I could do a ton of damage. Like, especially this AoE one, which removes Tremor right away. And if the other monster didn't have dodge area, I could remove that monster as well. That was a ton of damage. And to my Mega Taunt, but my Mega Taunt still has 78,000 um, life, so... I should be fine for now, unless Brutalizer like just one taps. Oh, that was somewhat close. Okay. Okay, he's not running Ural Ascent. That's interesting. I don't think he has it. Okay, so he resurrects. Unfortunately, I can't do anything, or you can't do anything when you have Hardy and the other the monster um, gets resurrected, or it just has evasion or anything like that in general. Fortunately, you can't do anything against that. So now, okay, my. Tank is dead. This monster has 49,000 HP. Let's just say about 29,000 because the shock is going to do a ton of damage since he's a tank. Let's see what he's going to do. Probably Mega Stun me or something. We're going to have to see. Oh, he stunned me instead. The AoE stun. That's right, he got resurrected. So, in this case, I could just apply the total damage reduction. Oh, and missed. You're so lucky, Brutalizer. 4,713 4, HP. You're so lucky. Okay, you see armor? So if you're gonna run any armors or anything like that, which I recommend running, uh, especially if you're gonna run like Eeltron's Mask or something, this will be cool. Like r running that, um, that'll save your life. So let's see what's gonna happen here. This monster doesn't have any damage mirror anymore, so we're gonna have to see how this goes. I kind of wish I was running Bromlad now okay fast as a shark space time no that's not gonna save him from that so let's just do what we can do for now oh the curse <laughs> this is gonna do a ton of damage to me so he applied tda right cda look he has this skill that just ignores cda so you can literally just attack him don't worry about that yeah he's gonna win this anyway so ggs uh, but yeah, that right there was a rank 3 showcase of Hardy. And now we're going to go ahead and break it off and get it to rank 5. And before I actually get it to rank 5, I'm going to go ahead and show, showcase it. Um, or show, not showcase, sorry. Um, to show you guys this monster's stats. So at rank 4, for those of you that are going to get this monster to rank 4, here are the stats with the runes and without the runes. And now we can go beyond rank 4. So here we go, breakout, 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 and finally, rank 5, 25 gems, go to feed, and here we go, level 150, cool, okay, so level 150, here are the stats with and without the runes, with the runes, look at that, 34,778 on top of that, that is, that's a ton, so he has 53,082 strength right now, that is very, very powerful. I'm gonna go and request it. Let's see if anyone else is going to accept that. Sammy, okay. Let's see. Um, let's see how well we do against this team. Hopefully, there's no evasion or anything. I mean, why would there be actually? Never mind. He's not running Ragnarok or something, you know. 
So, oof, okay, that is powerful. Yeah, it shouldn't be this powerful. So these are 120 mythics. Let's say if they were 140s or 150s, I don't think it would have OTK'd them anyways. So, that's a ton of damage. Now, I'm going to go and charge up. And this is the Spamble skill, by the way. His power is 60,942 with the Laser Beam Sword. That is why I love Ray running Laser Beam Sword. That was 252,000 damage right there. So he comes back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and apply CDA on him. So he's going to have to charge up. Go ahead and charge up. Okay. So again, this is his Spamble skill. You can go with this skill as well if you would like to. 270,000 damage. Yeah. Um, let's actually do one battle on PvP. In PvP, okay? Let's just do it. Here we go. We're going up against 130, 130, and 130. Okay, th this isn't bad. I mean, it's somewhat decent, right? So, um, take a look at this. So I have stamina regen in case if they hit me with uh, removing my stamina or something like Andana does, right? I'll be fine. Holy cow, let's not do that. Okay, so I can basically OTK any rank 3 monsters with this monster. When you have like runes like this, and also if you have laser beam sword, you can OTK anyone. It is so darn powerful. This monster is so powerful. But hey, he is not overpowered, okay? He's powerful, but he's not overpowered. Just letting you guys know. So Mega Sun, you can't really remove anything like that, of course. Um, if you're going to run a supporter monster like I am right now, you can't remove that. You could. So basically, I'm going to go and apply CDA real quick. And I'm glad that my uh, Elvira is going before him. So what I could do is go ahead and heal him up and also remove that. So in this case, let's see how much damage we could do with a double damage. And I'm not sure if I'll have Laser Beam Sword. I will. Okay, cool. So it's going to trigger right when I'm going to attack or next turn. So take a look. I have 100% damage boost. And also, I'm going to have the um, the power buff, right? Oh, never mind. That's just a damage part, not the power buff. But it's okay. Let's see how much damage we can do with this skill. So, yeah. Let's see how much damage we do it against Tremor. 414,000? Okay. Cool. Alright, so let's just leave this battle before we win. Because that won't be fair. But yeah, Hardy... This attacker is very powerful. You gotta watch out for this monster. Especially if it's a ranked one. Oh, not, not a ranked one. Um, like, if it's a ranked 3 and above, you gotta watch out for this monster. This is... This monster is pretty powerful. So for those of you that watch, uh, that purchased the pass, um, that's cool. You know, you have Hardy, ranked 3, you can get it to ranked 3, all that. Um, but this monster is darn powerful. What do you guys think about him? He's not overpowered. Once again, he is not overpowered, but he is very, very powerful. So you gotta watch out for him. But other than that, that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.